We are um, having a lighter moment this morning because everything has been so heavy. So we wanted to have just a little fun, check in with you guys. We love having um, your comments to be able to check in on. I've got you up on YouTube and Twitter, and I know the rest of the gang is watching on Facebook. So let us know because today we are going media. What shows, what movies have you kind of unexpectedly gotten into lately? with the pandemic, being kind of stuck at home, um, with the rain rod. Uh, we're not going to get into that because I've yes. been playing all morning about rain. No. I apologize. I know it's not Rod's It's going to be a half decent day, but that's beside the point. Yeah, we'll see. Um, okay, so what shows, what stuff have you guys been binging? Um, we have a couple comments I saw on our Facebook page when we posted this question, um, Leona Miller says she just finished the show Prodigal Son on Hulu. Oh, mm. I have not watched that one. Mm. And The Big Flower Fight on Netflix, two I have not heard of. There's so many shows out there. I don't have Hulu. Maybe yeah, I need to get that. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm, I'm still part of the conversation, but I okay. haven't been keeping an eye uh, very well on our uh, text line. Oh yeah, see if anyone texts us. So I can, but I, I need this uh, special piece of equipment to pull that up. I get that on my little uh, laptop here. So I'll pull up the uh, zip whip line, as we like to call it here at the station. You guys know it as the text line. 503-226-5088. I'm reading it right off the corner of the same screen you're looking at. So you can text us uh, your thoughts on this topic. Again, as Nina mentioned, Brenda and Rod, we're gonna just keep things a little lighter this morning. Thought we would have uh, more of a fun conversation. Reopening, continuing throughout the state of uh, Oregon as well as in southwest Washington. Uh, but again, while we've been in quarantine, while we've been under these stay home orders the past three months, what shows or movies or series have you really fallen in love with that you would recommend to others? Uh, I'm on board the Ozark train. Gang, I which, love uh, Ozark. I know I'm a little bit late to the party, uh, although, you know, they've only had three seasons <laughs> and I haven't gotten to season three yet. We're just finishing season two at mm -hmm. our house, but it's awesome, right? And I have not been able to die. Literally for me, this has been great because I have not been able to dive into a series completely, like catch every episode from beginning to present since I thought about it, since Sopranos and Entourage like a decade ago oh, or wow. more. I really have not seen another series start to finish since those two. But I'm there with Ozark and uh, hey, we'll Drew, start what season size three. Of, uh, Drew, what size of t-shirt do you wear, sir? Large? I do go with a large t-shirt, Rod. I okay. could probably go medium, Why but then I have uh, to contain uh, the arm somehow. The same thing. <laughs> well, because a week from this Friday, a week from this Friday, so next week, I will be arriving in the land of the Ozarks. There you where go. my mom and dad live. And uh, I will see if I can get you a, a fancy Ozark T-shirt to your liking, yes. sir. Uh, my wife would take a, a woman's small. Uh, you know what? I, what I, is I, the T-shirt of? <laughs> the show or just yeah, like Missouri? I'm not going to be there picky here. I'll well, take no, any T-shirt. I'll be at Lake of the Ozarks. Ah, oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, no, my, okay. My okay. folks live where that show is shot, so I'll see if I can find. If I can't find something specific to the show, I'll find something that's just prominently says Ozark. Or maybe something homemade from the kitchen there of uh, Mama Hill. <laughs> Brian, Director Brian wants one. Somebody on Twitter, <laughs> Ivan, saying, what's this about? Hey, we are taking a break. We are just having this, a morning of levity on this Wednesday. We want to know, kind of like, share what shows or movies that you've kind of unexpectedly gotten into lately. Um, and so Drew was saying he's gotten into Ozark. Brenda, what about you? Um, let's see. I was just going to read a couple of these before I tell you because okay. Charlene agrees. Okay. Ozark is crazy. Yeah. Oh, but it's so good. Um, Debbie Taylor, good morning, says Heartland. <laughs> and then Lori, she says, uh, oh, it just bumped me. Gosh darn it. Um, doo -doo -doo. Uh, the Wrong Missy on Netflix. Absolutely hilarious. So the if you're looking for Missy? something lighter. So, yeah, um, my viewing list, I hate to one-up you, Drew. You were talking about, like, uh, what you have never gotten to. You know what we're binging right now? Nobody in my household has actually finished Game of Thrones. So we are going back from the beginning, and somehow through all the big ta-da with the finale, right. I did la-la-la-la-la-la-la. I have not looked at how it ended. I have no idea. But Game of Thrones is my go-to. I think I'm... Almost oh. done with season four. I think we have like three episodes to go, but geez. And you love it. I could not Beyond get into Game of Thrones. Joy. Ooh, those stuff. Uh, those scenes with uh, <laughs> Lord Bolton's bastard and Theon Greyjoy about put me under. I'm like, I think that's where I stopped watching last time. Uh -huh. It's so good. So good. 
Okay, Rod, what about you? Are you guys familiar with Sweet Magnolia? Well, how about Sweet Magnolia? There's a bunch of people I've on Facebook. I've heard of it, yeah. We're talking about that show on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Anybody? No? Nobody? Mm -mm. Nobody. Sweet Magnolia. Not here. Anyway, they're saying it's a, it's a really good show. I think three people, three, four people have mentioned it. Oh, you haven't uh, watched it, but okay, other I'm, people I'm the, said. Okay, go ahead. Right, yeah, I just noticed that. Okay. okay. I'm the, you know what? Uh, so I watch a lot of the Golf Channel. <laughs> and obviously there hasn't been live golf. There will be starting tomorrow with the return of the PGA Tour down in the uh, Dallas area, Fort Worth area. Uh, but what they've done is they've shown a lot of kind of uh, documentary, you know, history pieces looking back at uh, tournaments and, and golfers such as, you know, present day Tiger Woods and mm -hmm. Arnold Palmer. And that. But they've, they've really, I, I think, come up with some pretty good programming if you're a golf historian or buff and wouldn't typically have time to sit down and watch that. So that, I've been watching and kind mm -hmm. of enjoying that. Do these words ever, um, oh, mm, are these words mm, ever said mm, in your house? Hey, Grayson, come on in here and watch the Golf Channel with me. Yeah, does she watch it with you or is she just like, ugh? Grayson is Rod's wife, by the uh, way. Yes, Grayson is my wife. My, uh, well, here's our house. So I'm watching the Golf Channel on the big screen, and then my daughter's on her iPad, and then my wife is on her cell phone. Watching, watching, and okay. then I've got the big screen on the golf. The multimedia channel. family. Daddy so, controls the big channel. The big screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Hey, so I have Rodney, a, uh, you're going to be proud of me. Oh, go ahead. Speaking Miranda. of golf, I played my very first yes. ever 18 rounds of golf. Played. I'm using 18 that holes. very. Yeah, excuse me. Yes. Did I say rounds? That's no, okay. Only that's a oh, long one day. Round. It starts with a marathon. A long yeah, day. Right. Exactly. <laughs> but I made it through. Wow. I may take up golf. That's Doesn't all it I'm take forever? 18 holes. Yeah, yeah it was your whole about freaking a day. Four-hour extravaganza. Yeah. I felt like we were moving pretty fast. It, it bores it. me, to be honest with you. 18 is tough. I played uh, a round with Brandon O'Rourke, one of our producers here, uh, one of our managers, a, a few weeks ago, and it was really Brenda the first time I actually played like all 18 of the holes. I think I actually gave up on 16. I didn't complete the hole. <laughs> I gave myself a 10, but I literally like teed off on all 18, which it's hard. You, it takes forever. Yeah. Oh, come on. We did not keep score, at least not for me. Um, Jeff was like, he had the scorecard for everybody, and I just got little hearts. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Nobody little wanted hearts. to know how still many in times. in that phase of the relationship? It, it took me to get, he was just being polite. I, I love was putting down my wife's stuff. highest score totals. Oh, you got a 10 on that hole? Yeah, oh, funny. One zero in big letters. Uh, real quick, because oh. I haven't checked this in so many weeks. Yeah, yeah. The text line is alive and well. Good. Sunrise Extra. And we have a uh, texter this morning. The only problem with the text line, we've said this for months, you don't see the name of the texter unless yeah, they text provide name. the name. Uh, but this texter says, good morning. I have loved the new Queer Eye season. It's so oh, uplifting. It's I just what we need Queer right now. Yes. Gosh, I haven't watched that in ages since it was the, the, fellas. the original cast. Oh, you should you should definitely. But I've heard they're days. fun. I love Queer Eye. Mm. Um, people on Netflix, or on, on Netflix, on Facebook, on our original post, um, Ann Klinger saying she binge watched Yellowstone um, I'm on the Paramount TV app. My mom loves that show. It's uh, Kevin Costner. It's supposed to be great. Um, Jenny Garland saying Little House Fires on Hulu. I think that's the one with Reese Witherspoon. Um, deals with a lot of issues that young and old can both deal with excellent writing. Natalie Stone says, I just finished The Innocence Files on Netflix. It's a documentary series based on The Innocent Project. Um, I've been watching HBO. There's a really cool show, I think, because in my mind, I don't know why, I really want to learn to be like a, a, skate, a skateboarder. Really? You do? Now, I don't want to do any tricks. I just want to like what? skateboard down the sidewalk and not fall <laughs> down. And like be able to turn. I just Why? have always thought that's like so cool when you see like girl skateboarders. So there's a whole show now. It's called Betty um, on HBO, and it's kind of fascinating. Like there's this lady who's a filmmaker, and she has made two documentaries on people that she's randomly met like on the subway in New York City. So these chicks, they are, these are their real life characters. Like this is, it's based on a real life girls like skateboarding group and um, kind of how hard it is to be a female skateboarder in New York, just going to the skate parks with all the guys. And um, so they are not actors, but they sent them to acting class. And she first did a documentary using all their real names and everything. And it won a great award at the Tribeca Film Festival. And then HBO was like, hey, do you want to do a series? So they took a few more acting classes. 
And it's just about their real life characters. It's super fun and it just is really well shot. You just kind of feel that huh. carefreeness of youth again and it's it's like girl power stuff. Huh. It's really cool. I love speaking of girls, uh, Jackie Mason says Gilmore Girls and there are oh, a couple yeah. of people. Christy says I watched the entire run of Gilmore Girls. Simple and wholesome but funny and quirky. My daughter did the same thing. Somehow she landed on Gilmore Girls. Really? And good. then Michelle McGuire, Brian, good morning. She says new girl with its many references to Portland. That one is funny. Yeah, that's kind of fun. I've seen a couple episodes of that. There's a show that's been mentioned several times on this uh, live Facebook feed this morning. Uh -huh. Good morning to everyone watching us on Facebook right now. Uh, Dead to Me. Now, I'm, uh, is this the show with Christina Applegate, do you know? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. That's the one my wife has been watching this, and I catch a little that's bit of funny. it. That's yeah. funny, yeah. What's and, uh, it about? Well, it's about, a, if I, our viewers can explain it better. I have not been watching, but my, if I think it's about like Christina Applegate's character, her husband was killed by someone who hit him with their car, uh -huh. and it's a mystery. They don't know who uh -huh. was responsible for uh, that, that death, who, who was behind the wheel. It turns out to be a woman that she befriends. Now, the woman knows That's that Christina right. Applegate was the wife, but she is not going to tell her, I'm the one who killed your husband. Mm -hmm. Uh, I hope to gosh I'm, I'm getting this. No, you are. I watched, the, I think, the first season. And it is funny, and that girl is super awkward. And um, I mean, it, yes, it does have death in it, but it but, is really funny. And is just it a kind comedy, of a, though? I thought it was more of a drama. It's kind of comedy. a dark comedy. Okay. Yeah. Huh. So, so <laughs> three people say, and I love saying, of course, the viewers' names, but I'm not going to find them all right now. But Christy uh, Rally was one who said, Dead to Me is great. Mm -hmm. And then one of our regulars, Jeff Lucas, says, and this is what Mia does at our house, says, got to drink wine while watching <laughs> Dead to Me. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a given with all the shows, isn't it? Christina Applegate has had a great career, though, by the way, yes, hasn't she? Yes, she has. Yes, she all has. All these years. Mm -hmm. Did you see Rob St. Helen? Yeah. You no. are a funny little troll, but this, I, I he said, what? Nah, you what? can't step up the curb. Recall that? <laughs> and you want to skate? L O L O L. Oh, yes, when I he fell said, down. I am so kidding. Hey, Rob St. Helen, I thought that. I almost thing. forgot about that, Rob. No, I Thank didn't. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. Uh, there's a there's another Melhoff on the show this morning. No by way. way of the stream. Yeah, a Who? woman named Linda Melhoff. Yeah. Oh you know boy. That one? You know that yeah, one? Yeah. What's she saying? She says great show. I don't know if she's talking about any of the shows we're mentioning or this very show we're doing. The mother of Nina Thanks, simply mom. says great show. Okay, mom. Type in. My mom is like the foremost authority on uh, all things <laughs> television, and she recommends really good shows. I can never keep up with her. So, mom, let us. Fire away at some good shows. I know you have Jill some. Jill says Space Force. I've only seen a tiny that's bit of that. That's supposed to be really funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's good. You know what um, I love about this? The fact that so many people are chiming in. Because admittedly, you know, we, we never know before the morning begins what we're going to talk about mm -hmm. on Sunrise Extra. Mm -hmm. And there is a debate every day. Do we talk about the biggest yeah. news story of the day? Do we continue the conversation that we've been having, which I'm sure we'll continue to have uh, in future days? Or do we take a break like we are and, and talk about something completely different, completely light, and uh, I just appreciate the fact that people want to do that with us this morning. So Thank here's you. a question for you guys, because I know Brenda yeah. and Drew, like you, you guys are very loyal to your people, uh, meaning your, you know, partners in show watching. <laughs> what? Okay. Oh, no, in what? show watching. In show I was like, watching. Uh, where is uh, y'all? Well, I don't know. Where is y'all? And, and I, I, I wanted to ask loyal. Rod, like, do you guys, when you start a show, do you always start it with them and like you feel, you know, you like you have to watch each episode with each other because we have to be in my house. We have to be very separate TV watchers. Huh. Like I go to bed early and then he watches TV mm -hmm. and whatever. So tell me kind of your your setups. Do you want to go first, Brenda, or shall I? No, I think she was asking Rod, weren't you? Oh, I'm sorry. Or were you watching us? No, you weren't watching us. Well, let's us. hear sorry. from Rod first. I'll yes. go. What's your deal? I'll yeah. go. Well, I mean, we have uh, so. The one show that we really got into that we binge watched, and then when you do that, unfortunately, if you do it quickly, then you have to wait a couple of years for the next yeah. episode. Right. But is The Crown. We I both love, that. love The Crown. So we watched all of that absolutely together. You know, if someone has to get up and, you know, go to the restroom or whatever, you, you put it on pause. And anyway, that's very much together. And then my wife is really more into sci fi than I am. So hmm. that's what she does after I go to bed. That's when she watches all of her sci-fi things, you know, in the, in the couple like, two or what three is hours she, like? she has before she goes to bed. I have no idea. It's just a bunch of, I don't know. <laughs> so it's all sci-fi stuff. And it's far uh, out, and it's wild, I love and it's it. crazy. And it's all of the stuff that I would rather watch a John Wayne Western than watch Oh, yeah, the she's not into that. I'm with her. That's when she watches. Okay. That's funny. Yeah. 
<laughs> but Drew, you were saying yes. like if you if you start to fall asleep on the couch, which right. is like I do the exact same thing. Yeah. Um, sh Mia will maybe sometimes finish the episode, but right. then she is kind enough and you have to like watch it with her. Cause you were right. even saying you couldn't finish the Michael Jordan documentary because yes. everyone else. Well, we, we, I tried to pull the you whole family into the Jordan documentary. Yeah. I thought the boys might like that. Uh, and then surprisingly, I was like, oh, Mia will just come along for the ride because the boys are watching, but she really liked it. The boys could care less as it turned <laughs> out. Mia was in it, we haven't finished it. I couldn't get through Tiger King. We started watching that one at the beginning of the pandemic and, uh, and I was falling asleep during that one and Mia's like, the hell with you, I'm keep going. Wow. And so she watched the whole thing and uh, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm so behind, I'm not even gonna bother. Now with Ozark, yes, I am officially one episode behind Mia because on Saturday night of the last weekend, I could not keep my eyes open and she kept watching and I didn't. So she's like, hey, when are you gonna watch that episode so we can move on to the next one together? So there is <laughs> so this problem. So she won't move on. That's yeah. loyalty, man. <laughs> Just I, with that. But we don't, we don't really share enough in common. She's trying to have something. That's she good. She gardens, that's good. she bakes, she likes horses. <laughs> I do none of those things. Well, that's good though, because early on, I was accused of being a cheater because I was always sneaking episodes of whatever we were watching. And now I've learned my lesson. Um, Jeff said that he was going to get me one of those like rings where, you know, if you turn it on or something, it alerts the person you're supposed to be loyal to. There's a thing that does that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't even what? remember who makes it, but yeah, there was something like that. But now I always ask permission. I'm like, okay, can I, can Jaden and I, because it's usually, that's who I'm with, is my daughter. Yeah. We're like at home at the same time and Jeff is off working and I'm like, mm, maybe just sneak yeah, you one got episode. To. Uh, so our uh, nameless texter from earlier uh, yeah. uh, replied back with a name this time. She is Louise in Gresham. Good morning, Louise. Thank Good you for morning, texting Louise. your comments. And she added a second comment. Okay. She says, uh, this is a great idea, by the way. We thank you because it was ours. Okay. Uh, the, the conversation, I suppose she means. She says, I'm enjoying my morning with you. I really love the new Garth Brooks documentary as well. Uh, the show, it shows what he's been through, mm -hmm. how he was a pioneer in the country music industry. She says it's a really inspiring and heartwarming story. I remember that was, I remember that that was going to come out. I forgot that it was out. Yeah. Have you all seen it? Yeah, nope. same here. Garth Somebody Brooks? though says, Rod, no, for you, there's a show just for you. Where did it go? Shelly Stafford, good morning, Shelly. Yeah, she Shelley says, Rod, said, yeah. you should watch Timeless. It's we a Western and sci-fi. Huh. I wonder what <laughs> See, I'll, channel I'll probably like on. that. Timeless, there you go. Oh, and Cindy uh, Barber well, uh, says she I'll watched Breaking Bad it. and Better Call Saul. Have you watched both of those? I could They're not fantastic. get into Breaking Bad. I couldn't get into Ozarks. I couldn't get into Game of Thrones. Hmm. Hmm. I'm an outlier. How, how much did you try to get into Ozark, may I ask? Like, I watched, I think, two episodes, and then I c kind of for you know, forgot about it. It was just, everything's gray. Th I will say and, that. Like, depressing and kind of like, Ugh. Brenda, is Ozark not the darkest shot show of all time? Like, there are some times where I think my I TV mean, is broken. by design, right? I, it is, but like, so the, many of the scenes in that show are in pitch black. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there you go. Thank you. Yeah, uh, it was, it's actually it's one of the more well-lit scenes. But look at this. You can barely see the screen. Oh, there's a... Geez, that's probably not the I remember, yeah. Uh, but it's so good. It. it is a very good show. And, and Jason Bateman, I, I mean, after, again, another guy with a long career in Hollywood, sort of like uh, this, uh, I don't know if you want to call him a bench player. He's not like an A-list star like a Brad Pitt or a Tom Cruise, but he's had so many great roles, usually comedic. Mm -hmm. And he's got this role now where he just nails it. Um, he is in a really good show on HBO. It's based off a Stephen King book. It's called The Stranger. Hmm. Stranger. Wait. Wait, that's that a that Billy Joel song. I've seen that. And it's Jason Bateman. And it's <laughs> like a make it to the supernatural end. type thing. It was okay. so Detective. good until it wasn't. And you know who else is in that? Gosh, I can't remember the name of the actress who's the lead. In she played Stranger? Stranger? Harriet. Harriet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She's British good. actress. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Can't remember yeah, that's a name. cool show. Meryl Streep. That's my no, go to no. when we don't know who no, the female no. actress is. No. Rob, no. The no. Outsider. Thank you, Mike Hemme. The yeah. Outsider. I was there calling it go. The Stranger. Yeah, The Outsider. Yeah. I thought that was cool. I, I really did. Did you finish the whole thing? I did. Oh, does it get better? Because it got, got a lull. There was a lull in the middle of it. And yeah. It like, oh. hmm. And then, I mean, I just wanted to kind of like know what was what was up <laughs> at the end. We have You'll have to tell me when we're off air. What's our text? We have another texter. Bringing back the text line this morning, Michelle Bryan says, New Girl on Netflix is awesome, very funny, and a lot of references to Portland. We talked about that earlier, but this is a uh, text, texted version of that comment from Michelle Bryan. Is that show still going? Because it's old. Really? I just didn't know if they put all the old seasons. 
on there. Never heard of. Paula the old Stewart show. Owens has almost family. Haven't finished it, but so far it's cute. Um, Carol, good morning, says Council of Dads is my new favorite on regular mm -hmm. TV. I Just also got Netflix and love Dead to Me and Sweet Magnolias. Yeah. Well. Insecure on HBO. I love that show too. Mm -hmm. That's so That's fun. a good one. Um, I don't know. Mm -hmm. We are loving this the comments. Fun, you I can't guys. get to all of them. They're so, they're so darn many. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much. We've gotten so many comments. I yeah, love it. That's this fabulous. is something we can Thank all you. bond over, right? It's <laughs> meaningless television yes. movies. <laughs> is it rude to squeeze one more in? Go ahead. Go. Elaine. I've never seen Elaine on the feed before. She's watching on Facebook. She says she's, she's been watching when, uh, when Calls the Heart. When Calls the Heart. She says it's very oh. refreshing, beautifully photographed, and says you can actually watch it with the kids, which nice. I like to hear about. When Calls the Heart. Yeah, Thank you, Elaine. Perfect. That's a Hallmark channel. Hallmark channel. Is that right, Ron? That. Look at Ron, Ron knows, knows that. Oh. He's Rodney a big knows soft that. <laughs> in touch with his feelings. I love that. All right, you guys. Good thank you for waiting. Yes, okay. very wholesome. <laughs> we will see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.